Hey everyone, it's Tuesday again. Today's video comes to you in three parts, at least I think. Um, part one is today's book, which is Honey Baby Sweetheart by Deb Coletti. Um, when I was a secret sister, I uh, blogged about The Nature of Jade, which is uh, my favorite of her books, but this one was also really good. Ruby McQueen, ordinarily dubbed the quiet girl, finds herself hanging out with gorgeous, rich, thrill-seeking Travis Becker. But Ruby is in over her head and finds she is risking more and more when she's with him. In an effort to keep Ruby occupied, Ruby's mother, Anne, drags Ruby to the weekly book club she runs. When it is discovered that one of the group's own members is the subject of the tragic love story, story they are reading, Anne and Ruby spearhead a reunion between the long-ago lovers. But for Ruby, this mission turns out to be much more than just a road trip. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. It's a really sweet book, I think. I just, I really like it. So, um... Yeah. Part number two, I'm issuing my own challenge. Um, it doesn't involve any jumping, though, don't worry. Um, I'm also going to do it now. Um, you have to pick five random things from your house and relate them to one book or series, if you want. Um, I stole this idea from Grace, who vlogs about the Gemma Doyle trilogy, and so that's what I'm going to do, too. Um, number one is this necklace that I bought specifically because it reminds me of the series. Um, it says, uh, be the change you wish to see in the world, which is quoted in the Sweet Far Thing. And there's also a tree on it, which um, is in the Sweet Far Thing. Um, number two is this elephant, because Gemma came from India, and I think she brought like a little ivory elephant with her. So... Number three is this painting. I don't know who painted it, but um, it reminds me of Gemma and Kartik. Um, like, when he would come in her window at Spence. <laughs> um, number four is just this little box I have. Um, it looks Victorian. <laughs> and number five is also a painting. This is the Lady of Shalott. And in A Great and Terrible Beauty, um, they talk about her uh, with Miss Moore. Okay, so let me pick who will get my challenge. Um, I have your names on pieces of paper here. And it is... Devin. And part three is Emma's challenge. Uh, my word is anti-disestablishmentarianism. A-N-T-I-D-I-S-E-S-T-A-B-L-I-S-H-M-E-N-T-A-R-I-A-N-I-S-M. And now my mom thinks I'm even more insane because she had to hold it for me. I tried to make like a tripod out of a pile of books, but it was getting ridiculously tall and it just wasn't working. So yeah, I'll see you tomorrow, Chelsea.